A ring with a circumference of 32,000 kilometers is built and tested in the Pacific Ocean. Manufacturing work is divided between two factories situated on opposite sides of the Pacific Rim. Within each factory, the work is further subdivided between two fabrication lines. The maglev ring and its test harness, called the construction casing, are manufactured together. The assembly is called encased ring. Each fabrication line outputs encased ring at a rate of one kilometer per hour. The encased ring exits the factory directly into the ocean and submerges so that ships and icebergs are able to pass safely overhead. When all four segments of the encased ring are complete, their ends are raised to the surface and joined together to form a complete ring. Then the joint locations are submerged once again. Before testing can begin, the encased ring is secured underwater with mooring lines that are connected to anchors on the sea floor. In addition to the mooring lines, there are mechanical actuators on the inside of the encased ring that serve to mechanically isolate the maglev ring from the construction casing. A combination of dynamic tensioning systems, exterior thruster nacelles, and the mechanical actuators within the construction casing keep the maglev ring steady and maintain its near-perfect circular shape while the moving ring is accelerated to operational speeds during shakedown testing. When testing is finished, the mooring lines are loosened to allow the encased ring to rise to the ocean's surface. At the surface, cable-laying ships with tethers spooled up on their decks move into position around the encased ring. The cable-laying ship's propellers alone will not generate sufficient thrust to lift the ring. Therefore, barges prepare several gravity anchors for each cable-laying ship to pull on. When raising the maglev ring, the cable-laying ships will advance by winching in traction cables that are attached to these gravity anchors. Hatches on the construction casing are opened, and the ends of the tethers are connected to the maglev ring. The moving ring is accelerated, causing it to generate inertial forces. At the same time, the cable-laying ships apply tension to the tethers. The moving ring's speed and tension on the tethers are adjusted so that the inertial force, the tensile force, and the force of gravity almost entirely cancel each other out. All that remains is a slight upward force. This remaining force moves the maglev ring up and out of the construction casing at a roughly 45 degree angle. Before the spool on a winch runs out of room for additional traction cable, a barge will pick up the traction cable's gravity anchor and reposition it, leapfrog fashion, further ahead of the cable laying ship. As the maglev ring is slowly raised, the inertial force of the maglev ring and the tensile force of the tethers are continuously adjusted to ensure that together they always offset the force of gravity. When the maglev ring is fully raised, the tethers are handed off to permanent anchor platforms. Each anchor platform is equipped with a wind turbine, batteries, and backup generators. Power travels up to the maglev ring through wires embedded inside the tethers.